Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the most exciting video to date because I finally get to have a harvest in front of me. And you guys know the issues that I've been having in my garden with the pests and the animals pretty much getting to my vegetables before I get a chance to get to my vegetables. So in front of me here, I have potatoes, I have Swiss chard, I have tomatoes, and I have jalapenos. Um, the only thing that I don't have here that I already harvested is the corn because I actually harvested that last week and it's in my fridge. Um, we haven't eaten it yet, but um, yeah, that's the only thing that I don't have here in front of me. Um, the only thing that I didn't get a chance to harvest that I was expecting to harvest is the kale because it seems like this uh, variety of kale, the, uh, the red Russian kale, is just not as, I don't know, resistant to the animals as the curly kale that I had last year. So last year I had curly kale and I had no problems with it, with the worms, with caterpillars. I had no issues whatsoever. I was harvesting that kale at least one time a week. I was giving it to friends, to family. Um, but it, with this, it just seems like anytime it's like almost around that time to harvest, no matter how much I wash the uh, caterpillars from the backs of the kale, they come back and they just destroy everything. So that's been challenging. And at this point, I think I've just kind of given up on that. And I think maybe next year, I'm gonna try and grow the, uh, the curly kale again because I know I've, I had success with that last year and I just don't have um, as much success with the kale this year. Or another thing that I thought about doing is growing it up on the balcony the way that I have uh, the Swiss chard because the Swiss chard, when it was in here, uh, was getting affected by all types of things. And then when I brought it to the balcony, I had no other issues. So I might try to do that next year, but we'll see. Anyways, enough of the chit chat. Um, let's go ahead. I'll, I'm going to show you guys me harvesting everything just because I thought it would be nice to do that. Because, you know, it's been a it's been a tough road. It's been tough for me to get here and to be able to stand here and show you guys my harvest. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is the corn. As you can see, I had a really good germination rate, considering the fact that I had to pollinate them myself because I didn't have enough plants for them to germinate themselves, other than this one. The second thing is that I could have harvested these like maybe two to three weeks before I actually harvested them because I noticed that they were drying out a lot. Like this one is a lot, it's like really dry. So I definitely could have harvested these, you know, like a few weeks ago. The next thing is that some of them just never germinated. I never had any corn on them. I had four of them, which is not bad considering this was my first time growing corn. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is the Swiss chard. The Swiss chard looks absolutely amazing. You guys know how much of a struggle I had this year with the Swiss chard, especially at the beginning of the year. So the fact that I'm here picking it is just unbelievable. I am so proud and I'm just so happy with the yield and the result of the Swiss chard. The next thing was the jalapeno peppers. I only picked about half of these because I want to save some to harvest later on in August and in September. So I was really happy with this too. So the next thing is the potatoes. And as I was digging up the potatoes, I noticed that there was this one mushy, old, discolored potato. And at the time, I didn't realize that this was the original potato that I planted. It took me a while to figure it out, but eventually I did figure it out. Um, and then I just kept digging up more potatoes and I had a really good harvest despite the fact that I planted in pretty shallow crates. I noticed that the ones that I harvested from the buckets had a lot more potatoes and they were a lot bigger. So maybe next year I'll try growing more potatoes in buckets instead of crates. The next thing is this worm, and I'm not sure if it's a worm or a caterpillar or what it is, so if you guys know what this is, please leave it in the comments down below. It was the only one that I found. I'm really impressed by how many potatoes I was able to get out of these crates because it was my first time growing potatoes and I was unsure how I would do, but I'm really happy and I'm really going to, I'm going to try and grow potatoes again next year. The next thing is the tomatoes, and as you guys can see, there's a lot of splitting happening, and that's because we've had a lot, a lot of rain recently, so there's, there's been a lot of splitting. But other than that, I haven't had any other issues in the garden in regards to the tomatoes. I haven't had any diseases, I haven't had any pests. Other than the hornworms, really, that's it. It's been amazing. I've had so much to harvest. I'm cooking with them, I'm making salads with them, I'm giving them away. So I am just over the moon excited about how well the tomatoes have done this year. 
so that is everything that has been going on in my garden the past two weeks um, in my next video I'm going to be planting radishes so I had bought radishes at the very beginning of the year when I bought all my other seeds um, with hope with hopes that I would plant them at some point in the springtime but I just never got around to it so I'm excited to be planting them in the fall so that's hopefully what my next video is going to be you guys will see me I have three different varieties I don't know if I already said that but I have three different varieties of radishes and I've never grown radishes before so this is going to be my first time this year actually has been a year of a lot of firsts for me because it was my first time growing corn it was my first time growing potatoes and it was my first time growing collard greens so I've had some successes and some kind of not successes so you know I'm learning along the way I've only been gardening for officially like this is my third summer gardening but that's a video for another time but anyway yeah so I'm gonna be planting radishes in my next video so I hope you guys stick around for that and with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.